Hello guys, my name is Blue Digit, and um, we're going to be talking about Chainsaw Man. Now, um, yes, the choice of the picture was deliberate, heavily del uh, deliberate, and I, I want you all to know that. Alright, now we can move on. So, um, Chainsaw Man is one of those uh, things that either you really know it or you're going to know it. And um, I, I feel like it's going to become a classic immediately. However, I, I want to kind of talk about my thoughts, because since the whole thing hasn't come out yet, and... I've already read ahead. I, I want this to be kind of like a spoiler-free thing before we actually start like diving in when the series is complete. So this is more like initial reaction to like the first few episodes and like my my thoughts on it because I've actually read the whole um, manga. I, I've read. I went ahead and read the book, and um, I read it I think last year. Um, and I've read a lot of his other works too. One of my favorite ones that he's done is uh, Fire Punch, which uh, if you haven't seen that, it is dark. It is like I think how a lot of superhero stories should be. However, like if if Dark topics are hard for you to take in, especially when it comes to, like, a genocide um, or morality. Like, that, it touches all that shit, so just be careful. But, um, from the same maker, right? And, um, Chainsaw Man, the, the, the person that made the manga is a huge into movies, so you, you can kind of feel that sprinkled, like, all throughout this. Um, I'm pretty sure if I'm, if I, I might be right, but I think it's, like, a mixture, like, this reasoning for doing Chainsaw Man was a mixture between um, the Evil Dead and uh, Texas Chainsaw, obviously. So, um, it's pretty fucking awesome. But, um, Chainsaw Man is going to rub a lot of people, like, different ways. Because uh, if you know nothing about the story, basically, it's about um, a boy that starts from literally nothing. Um, there's these things called devils in the world, um, which are just basically demons, right? And um, devil hunters, aka, like, demon hunters almost, have to go out and stop these things. Well, um, main character becomes one of these um through an unfortunate series of events and um goes out and basically works as, as a devil hunter while being technically like part devil himself or being able to turn into one um and another thing we haven't heard before but the presentation and the execution of it is different and i i feel like um the internet's gonna kind of take this series the wrong way and i really hope it doesn't turn like my hero because like um it's kind of the same thing where like you have aspects of it that are like um kind of raunchy and it's supposed to be like comedic in some ways and there's nothing wrong with that um for example like the, the main character like literally freaks out over like the main girl makima like a ton just because of the fact that like um first off she's attractive in the series and like you know we as the audience know that but it's mainly um because he's never had relations before and i feel like a lot of people are going to kind of take that out of context where it's like Oh, he's just, he's, he's so funny. He's just, he's just into, into girl and hoarding when it's not that. I mean, that's baseline surface level, but the whole thing about, um, this author that I love and I hope, um, Studio Map was in charge of this and, and they're going to do an amazing job already. The animation's good, um, is kind of the darkness behind these simple actions. Like, um, there's points in the series where even food is scarce and the way they make you feel like. How important it is just to have like options for food is beautiful. Um, and I feel like a lot of people are going to kind of like just not understand the importance of why. Okay, um, I need to eat this cigarette because I was dared to just for an extra five bucks, and that's a reality for this character. And um, a lot of times you'll you'll see how broken this guy is because he has no humility. He has none. Um, because that's how he's kind of had to be, be raised. Um, well, yeah, he has no, he has had no father figure or mother figure. He's literally just been alone. So, um, it's, it's very interesting to see how the, the series goes about that. And I love it. That's why I really enjoy it because it, it, um, the series goes a lot into, um, is it okay? And is it worth it to have bad things happen to good people? Or is it okay for good things to happen the bad people. That's really what the, the series kind of tackles a lot. And um, it, it does it in a very exaggerated, bleak world. Um, and I love it. Because you kind of get lost in it all. And um, that's kind of what it's supposed to do. Because the, the, the main villains of the story make that happen. Um, but as you slowly move into it from 
the other side of the spectrum, you start to realize that may, maybe there's a little bit of a reason to it. And, and, and maybe if it weren't for those bad things, the good things won't come about. And, and I love that philosophy. And it doesn't do it in a cheesy way either, this series. And that's why I enjoy the way that it handles a lot of the uh, topics. Um, because well, one of my favorite moments, and I'm not going to like spoil this, but um, something happens to a character. And um, normally we'd all be like, oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! And there kind of is that sentiment, but um, in this series, it, it kind of handles it more like you would uh, like on a battlefield. And I really love that because uh, it, instead of being like, "Oh my gosh, I, I'm just I miss him so much," oh my god, it, it turns into quickly, "They're they're gone. This happened. We got to deal with the situation at hand." And you got to just blank that out, even though that's that's still in your mind as you're kind of charging into the fight. And um, I, I really think. This series is going to be one that divides the community. Um, and it sounds really mean, but really, if you can interpret it or not. If if a lot of this goes over your head and you're just like, oh, well, this is a cool action anime. This, this is really cool for all the the, the, the hot shit. Like, you're, you're not going to get it. You're just you're just not. Um, but if, if you can watch this and kind of see the other side of, okay, well, this is going to be a show that kind of masks itself then you're gonna have a wonderful time um i would like to equate it almost to it, not exactly but it's just because it's at the top of my head saw um a lot of people see it surface level it's just like torture porn which like saw i mean there's got some torture all over the place so like i, I don't blame people for think, thinking that however at the heart of the first movie at least the first movie um it's a detective movie it really is um kind of like the movie seven and um that horror that you see in that movie is more or less supposed to bring about the insanity of um moral dilemmas within the uh, the main villain and should there be someone to kind of push you or punish you um into truly being thankful for what you have um obviously we all know the fucking answer to that but like you know it's 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 very interesting the way that the uh, formulated that and either you're going to get it or you're not. Um, and I really hope you will give this a chance. This is one of the few examples where I hate saying it, but I think the the, the anime might be better than uh, the manga in the way that it presents itself. Because the manga, um, because the the frames kind of go so quickly, um, and a lot of people don't actually sit down and like, look at each frame very slowly, um, they're not really going to understand the way it goes about compared to like how Studio Map is handling it. And kind of um, adding a lot more tone um, in comparison to what the, the book would have. Uh, and that makes me happy because usually, you know, when you have film to something in comparison to a book, it doesn't do as good, just generally. Um, but when that does happen, like, it's, it's just, you get you kind of look up and you're like, yes, thank you, you know? Because, um, I mean, it's, it's fucking hard. It's really hard. So um, I'm really excited about that. However, um, moving on to one of the last things, and I, I say this for last because I don't think it's a big deal, but um, I still want to address it. This is going to look phenomenal, and I love the way that it looks already. However, some people are kind of complaining about how there's CGI in it, and some people are like, oh, well, there's no CGI. And for me, it's, it's kind of like, I don't like CGI either. I, I am big into practical effects. If there's anything from like mainly 80s, when it comes to practical effects, I just I'm, I uh, I am enamored by it, and I think whenever there is practical effects, it makes a show so much better and so much more grounded. For example, um, a horror movie called Terrifier that came out, um, well, Terrifier two actually came out like this month, I believe, and um, tons of practical effects. I think it's only practical effects, and because of that, it makes it like even more terrifying because like it, it's real. It looks fucking real. You know, it's you can't tell that it's like fake at all. So. Um, I really love that. Um, however, Chainsaw Man does a hybrid of this, and it is very obvious when he uses CGI. Um, my biggest thing, though, and, and this is where it gets tricky for me, um, because he uses CGI, I don't think it's ever going to be like the best thing ever, and I don't think it's going to be great. Um, people try to make excuses for CGI, and I'm not going to do that with you. Um, if you guys have ever seen the anime also came out called uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, amazing story, one of the best things Studio Trigger's ever done. Um, they could have easily done a ton of CGI, and they, they hardly used any. 
And if the, 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 the things that they did do, you could hardly even notice unless you've been watching shit for a long, long, long time. There is basically no CGI in that. And I'm blessed to know that this amazing series that I was able to watch was just so handcrafted um, as a work of, of art. That doesn't change the fact that this is also going to be great. However, I, I'm not going to give an excuse. That doesn't mean, though, this isn't going to be good. This is going to be very... Like, this will probably be the, one of the best tellings of Chainsaw Man that we're going to get. Um, and I, I want you guys, if you are going to try this out, kind of try and give more of attention to the story itself compared to uh, the CGI. Um, I believe Studio Map is also the, one, also the like group that's working on the uh, Attack on Titan series right now. And you can see where they're CGI. And yeah, it's still an amazing series. I think it's done an amazing, great job at um, telling the story of Attack on Titan, even though there's those moments of CGI that kind of pull you out of it, um, in my opinion. Um, so... If you're able to focus on the story more and really get enamored with the characters and not so much um, the visuals at certain points, you're, you're going to love this series. And um, just try to keep more of an open mind towards uh, really the tone and um, what, what the story is trying to tell because it is, it's so fucking good. It's so good. And um, yeah, if you let all these fucking barkers in the back fucking tell you what the hell Makima is or, or Denji's doing, like just... Ignore them. They, 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 it's going to ruin your experience. Um, it's, it's okay to it's okay to simp a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. I get it. I get it. Monkey must just mwah. but but we, we got to stay focused. We must stay focused. So um, it's going to be wonderful. Um, I'm actually I, I'm debating doing Denji at uh, this um, cosplay event I'm going to or um that's just not say cosplay event. It's like it's like a cos um what, is, what do you call it Comic Con thing. So um, I'm debating it, but. Try this out. Watch at least the first episode because I think you're going to know all. You're going to get all you need to know within the first episode. However, I would recommend to. I would recommend the two because it, it does a good job at um contrasting the two. Um, but the tone is done wonderfully by Studio Mappa, and I'm glad that they uh, pulled it together. Um, I love the manga. I wouldn't say it's my favorite by any means, but I I would recommend steering away from that before you get into this. Um, it, it, it'll help you. Um. I think by watching the series first because the way it's executed will be a lot easier for uh, anime watchers. If you, if you read manga, then, you know, do your own fucking thing. But if, if you're an anime watcher and you're just like, you know, going by whatever the fuck like I am, yeah, just do that. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I'll keep you updated with uh, what's going on with this. And, um, yeah, I, I, think, I think I'm going to make this a thumbnail. Yeah, it's going to be a thumbnail. Thank you all for watching. Uh, my name is Woody Sunny. If you haven't already, please sub and let me know down in the comments below what you think this series is going to turn into because I am really excited for uh, the future of it. And I think it is going to become a cult classic very, very quickly. Um, my name is Woody Sunny and I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys. Whoop.